stories you've heard, they don't tell the whole truth. The island is indeed the place of legend. There's power and vast riches as well. But those who've gone before you have simply vanished, never heard from again. I saw the horror, the madness that overcame the crew. It was beyond any evil the world has ever known. How I survived, I do not know. The contents of this box are not of this world. They will guide you to that one, wherever and whatever that may be. Go then, Captain. Charge your course and your fate. I will say a prayer for the souls of your crew. Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to New World. I have been waiting for New World to come out for a very long time. Had a lot of fun in the beta, and today is the day of the full release of the game. And I am very excited to get into New World and see all that it has to offer. If you're new to the channel, a little bit of background about me is I've been playing MMOs for about 20 years. Played a lot of vanilla WoW back in the day, I've played World of Warcraft ever since, and have sampled basically every MMO that has come out since then. So I'm really looking forward to this game, and hoping that it does a lot to pull me in. I want to get immersed in the world, in the lore, check out everything there is to see as far as the systems. And we're going to take it slow, really do a lot of exploration. We're going to read any quests and lore items that are not voice acted and just really let ourselves get in deep. Eventually we'll be doing dungeons and things like that, but I'm not gonna rush the leveling content. I really do wanna see what they've done with this game and this world. So without saying any more, let's go ahead and get right into things here. Now this is a day one, so I'm expecting the servers to be a little choppy, but we'll see how smoothly Amazon has managed to make the launch day of their game. And for this character, I'm pretty sure I'm going with a heavy armor build. We're going to do sword and shield, and I think our secondary weapon is going to end up being the hatchet. I played a lot in the beta and I did sword and shield and heavy hammer and that was really cool. Looking to try a few different things this time around. I have changed some of my keybinds, so some of the key bindings you're seeing pop up may not be the ones you get if you're playing the game. You! Come closer. Your captain needs you. What happened? Something wrong. I'm not feeling right. That devil storm. What in the nine hells was that about? And where is my box? I need my box. Did you take it? You build rat! So the setup here is we are a random crew member on the ship of the captain who we saw in the opening cutscene. Something isn't right. To come so close. It's not fair. What, what's happening to me? I can't die. Not like this. <laughs> 
All right, recover Captain Thorpe's items. Dropped a round shield and some light rations. Let's go ahead and get that equipped. And we'll drop the light rations into our number three action bar slot here. And they want us to go ahead and eat some food. I don't think there's much additional that we can find by exploring this first little area here. I think we just need to progress uh, down the pathway. Now I know they've made quite a few changes since the beta. I haven't researched any of the changes at all or looked at a change list or anything like that. I'm really interested in whether or not I'm going to be able to spot any major changes that they've made to the game. Uh, without knowing beforehand. Alright, Sword and Shield Mastery hit level 2. Let's go into our upgrades here. And so, in New World you don't have a character class. You can equip any weapon in the game, and each weapon is going to have two different skill trees like what we see here. Uh, for right now, for leveling, we are going to go into Sword Master. And we're going to grab our first active ability, Whirling Blade. You can see that you have some three active abilities in each tree. And then a bunch of minor talents that buff and change your active abilities, give you bonus to your stats and things of that nature. And that's what that one looks like. It's on about a 15 second cooldown. Uh, I'm going to want to change my auto run key. Let's see if we can do that really quick. Key bindings, navigation, ah, uh, that's toggle, run, walk, auto run, there we go. Quite a beautiful game. They do have a very, very beautiful skybox in this game. Descend into the grotto to investigate the smoke. Alright, this is a corrupted area. Doesn't look like our block is really doing much against that flaming sword.
And let's see what starting area we get put in. From what I understand, you can be dropped into one of four starting areas. We were in Monarch's Bluffs in the beta. I'm kind of hoping we get something different. But then again, with my luck, we might end up in the same place. Let's find out. Uh, no, we are in Windsward. Okay. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, we were... Where is... Mo we were over here in Monarch's Bluffs uh, when I played previously. I've kind of heard First Light is one of the better areas to start in, but uh, Windsward is new to me, so that at least I am happy about. Let's see how the game performs here. Already, the latency is better than what it was starting off in the beta, so some things have improved. But yeah, bound to get a little laggy as everyone is all cluttered up. As people spread out into the world, that changes and things get a lot smoother, so... Well, you don't look like one of the drowned. There's life in you yet. Aboard the ship during that storm, were you? You're fortunate to be alive. But such is the magic of this place. Eternum. Eternum? Is that where we are? Indeed. And it is where we will remain. One can evade death for centuries on this island. But leaving is difficult, if not impossible. I am Watcher Tahir Fayed, from a nearby settlement of Windsward. And you are? It is nice to make your acquaintance. As desperate as your situation may seem, almost everyone here arrived under similar circumstances. The storm that wrecked your ship was caused by an unnatural force known here as corruption. It encircles the island, smashing ships and leaving the crew either dead or worse. And what happened to the rest of the crew? Ah, well, you see, you seem to have died and been resurrected and harmed. It appears the rest of your crew came back without their souls. They wander the beach now as the restless drowned. Can anything be done for them? Yes. The merciful thing is to at least attempt to put them to rest. And that is part of the reason I am here. It would be better if you could do it, however. I need to stay here for others like you. Alright, we're gonna go kill some drowned. Let's go into our inventory and equip the boots that we got so we have something covering our feet. And we have points available. I'm going to be doing primarily a strength build. We are going to be using the sword and shield. And I think going with the hatchet. They both scale with strength as their primary and dexterity as their secondary. So for now, I'm going to put a couple of points into strength. We're also going to want to grab constitution. Uh, which is going to contribute towards our overall health pool. And I'm not sure if there's a benefit for us grabbing Dexterity as the secondary stat if we're not going to be using any Dexterity-based weapons. I'm always open to feedback from you guys about the systems and things like that. I'd rather get tips from you guys who have played or who know than to look it up in an online guide or something of that nature. Alright, let's get out here towards the coast. And I think I have the sound settings where they need to be so that we can hear voiceover dialogue, but so that other sounds don't become overpowering. But you guys let me know if I need to adjust any of the sound settings. Uh, and I will do so as we go. We're going to be looking for any notes, any lore items and things like that. And if you're familiar with the channel at all, I do tend to read all of these things. And definitely in this game, the first time through, I will be reading everything we find. Here we have Chronicles of Mesnerd. Rank incompetence found near Mesnerd's might. That idiot. We have miles of open beach, clear waters, and the fool captain goes and beaches the damn ship. Well, the only thing he'll be captain of now are the crabs picking at his bones. We bound him and buried him at the site of his shame, and we'll worry about his incompetence no longer. Nothing can be done for it, I suppose. Though the ship was my namesake, I'll not have it be said that Captain Mesnard allowed the loss of his ship, 
to incompetence, no less. Keep him from finding glory. No, the men and I will salvage all we can from the ship, then continue up the coast and survey where we have landed. What do we have in here? Supply cache. Flint arrows, a weak health potion, and some old hardtack. Having food and supplies is going to become really important as we progress. We're going to gather some flint here right away because we are going to be making some basic tools for crafting. And we might as well grab some now. We could wait for respawns over here or we can just cross over the way and find one more enemy to defeat. And we got level 3 there just by exploring. I'm going to go ahead and put a point into, into Constitution and another point into Strength. Alright, we can head back now. I'm pretty sure we'll be sent back out this way. So whatever we don't explore now, we can do later. We have an upgrade available. Uh, we can go here, and we can go to Territory Standing, Windsward, and we can pick one of these. We can do Standing Gain, XP Gain, Gathering. I'm going to do XP Gain. Somebody said never to do this, uh, but early on I think it's fine just to take that experience boost for our character. That wasn't too difficult. Some have trouble confronting the soulless ones. They're a reminder of the fate that could await us all on this island. Of course. I imagine you're quite famished after your ordeal at sea. I did not bring any rations with me, but you can provide for yourself. Gather flint and wood and fashion yourself a skinning knife, for starters. Wood's easy enough to gather from bushes around here, Flint, those are rocks on the beach that everyone trips over. <laughs> Gather some of each, then use the campfire to craft a skinning knife. Alright, we have the flint. Let's go out here and find some bushes. Shouldn't be too hard to do. There we go. And we're going to craft a skinning knife. Set the active tool. We could also do a mining pick. And a logging axe. Alright, so we have all of the basic tools now, except for the fishing rod, which we will get later. Well done, my friend. It may not be a handsome implement, but it will get the job done. Next, 
You will want to go on a little boar hunt. You've been at sale for some time. How does a boar steak sound? Take down one of the boars in the brush behind me and put your new knife to the test. Then cook yourself a little campfire feast. Careful. Those boars can put up quite a fight. I can assure you that your reward will be a fine meal, however. Alright, let's go find ourselves some dinner, shall we? I am planning to work on a lot of crafting in this playthrough, but I think a lot of the tedious stuff I will do off of recording, so a lot of the gathering and stuff I will do on my own. Instead of subjecting you guys to possibly hours of me cutting down trees and skinning boars and things like that. Because as you can see, depending on the tool that you have, it does take a minute to do things like skinning or chopping down an entire tree or breaking up a large boulder. Alright, we do have a note here. Let's take a look. Red skies. The skies were red again last night, and the storm was strange, even for this place. I swear I saw something. Another ship, I think. Beyond the breakers. We'll see if they had the good sense to steer clear of this hell. Fresh Floatsum tells me they didn't. And it wants us to make this light ration here. Recover 40 health per second for 20 seconds. This recovery stops if damage is taken. Afterwards, recover 1% of your health every 2.5 seconds for 20 minutes. So this is how we're going to regen health uh, out of combat. And we can get a boost to health in combat. So it's going to be important that we always have rations on us. That's all we can make for now. Nicely done. It may seem simple enough, but both boar hunting and preparing your own food are important skills to have here in Eternum. A full belly goes a long way. This beach is not a hospitable place, but you're welcome to visit the Windsward settlement. After we are done here, of course. What else do we need to do? Let's let's ask him about the people that don't die. Indeed. Sounds at first like one has arrived in paradise, does it not? It's the Blue Azoth. A power greater than even death. You must still be wary, though. Some people die anyway. Or worse. Your ship was just one of several claimed by corruption on this day. The Windsward settlement keeps track of all wrecks on this shore. I was hoping you could help collect the uh, records from whatever remains of these ships. Alright, I think we had a couple of points to spend here. We do. Let's do strength and con. And let's head back out. I probably should look and see if we can craft a simple hatchet or what materials we need to do that. Uh, we might not be able to do it at here. We might have to wait till we're in town. Yeah, melee weapons. We can only equip a wooden, or make a wooden longsword right now. So we may have to wait until we get to one of the crafting benches back in town.
All right, we have to collect the manifest, the roster, and the ship's log. And we'll collect these herbs. I think we need these for potion making. You'll see next to our damage pop-up that it shows the type of damage that our weapon is doing. Different enemies are going to have strengths and weaknesses against different types of damage, whether it's slash, uh, impact damage, or piercing damage are the three types. When it's white like that, that means they're not strong or weak against it. Oop, I do see the crate here. Let's grab that. Food troubles aboard the Crown. Logbook Day 15. Fink has discovered the source of our food supply woes, rats. The crew has been set to work exterminating the cheeky buggers who've been infiltrating our grain reserves, but it may not be enough. So much has already been consumed by the fat vermin that we may need to start cooking them up in stew just to fill our bellies. The rats multiply like, well, rats, and the hunt for their nest is on. Oh, we got a life staff there. I am going to be doing my best to fully explore areas and to grab everything I can. That being said, I'm going to miss stuff. And if I miss stuff, feel free to point it out and the timestamp that I missed it. And if it's possible, I will go back and grab it. Uh, especially I'm talking about lore items, like the notes we've been picking up. If I miss a supply chest here or there, not really that big of a deal. But I do want to grab all the lore stuff uh, as we as we come across it. Alright, Sword and Shield has leveled up. That means we can go in here and we have another point to spend. I would highly advise grabbing all of the active abilities that you can first. So we're going to grab Reverse Stab. A stab that deals 175% weapon damage on a 20 second cooldown. The Expedition Embarks. On the day of the expedition set sail, I discovered what Isabella had used in her negotiation. It was shackled below decks of the Santa Maria de la Cancelian, a dirty, hunched man with a great beard and eyes like embers in the hollows of his face. His wrists and ankles were clapped in irons, though there was nowhere for him to run, lest he sought to plunge over the side and drown, perhaps. She had freed the heretic from his church cell. This man, barely human at all, was to be our guide. If I had known, I would never have come aboard, and now I fear... Oh! <laughs> uh, yes, you will get into combat while trying to read stuff out in the open world. Uh, not really any way around that. It probably goes into your journal and you can just read it when you're safe. Let's see, I would never have come aboard, and now I fear where the words of this man will take us. To the bottom of the sea, or worse, to hell, I do not know. But it is someplace far from God's grace, of that I am certain. I was to learn later, on the red sign... Our on the red sign had sought to extract the knowledge of the Isle of Azoth from the madman many times, but the only one he said he would show was Isabella. She must be the captain, he said. Do this, and I shall show you the way to Vitae Eternum, 
It is a devil's price, and Isabella has paid it. Isabella is a major lore character who we're going to learn more about uh, and possibly meet later. I don't... I didn't look up any spoilers for the game as far as the story. You know, I know some very, very basics. And Isabella is the only named character that I know about. So that little bit might be important for later. Alright, let's focus on getting our last two items here. Yeah, I like to read things as I find them, but it might behoove us to let it sit in our in our journal and just read it uh, when we get to a town or to a safe place. Because yeah, with the respawn rate, you will often get jumped when you're reading some of the longer entries out in the field. Alright, here is the roster, just a list of all the people on the ship. You notice that we've taken a little bit of fall damage and we're not regening our health. You have to have eaten food and be getting the food buff in order to regen health even out of combat. That's why food is so important in New World. And here is the manifest, 5 barrels of gunpowder, 6 cases of shot, 10 barrels of grain, 8 crates of salted meat, 10 muskets, 15 rapiers. And now we need to search shipwrecks for the records and remnants. Let's head this way. Let's clear this guy out before we try to read this letter that's on the ground here. And that's what a reverse stab looks like. Pretty cool. Rumors. The local priest came to speak to me this morning as I sat within the church. I shared my thoughts with him and he quoted scripture to me. I had not exchanged more than a few words with him before, but the words came easily. I told him of the absence I felt of family. I f the fear of debt. And aside from the looming misfortune, there was the looming presence of age to contend with. My brothers had their lives taken from them by the sea, but mother and father, they deserved more years than they were granted. I told the priest my father had often spoke quite passionately of a fountain of youth where he might take back his years and gain enough years to recover from the trials the, that life brought with it. The priest was silent at this, then said, almost apologetically, that we were given this life a requisite number of years because more, more might cheapen life's beauty. To wish to extend one's life, he seemed quite pained at this, was even considered offensive, heretical by the church. He spoke as if he had heard her heretics saying such, which piqued my curiosity. When I pressed him on it, he protested I misread his tone. Anyone speaking, let alone claiming to have proof of such nonsense, would be kept under lock and key so their madness might not affect others. He knows of someone like this, I am certain. I will make inquiries. Isabella. I'm just going to fight basically everything we see. The more we use a weapon, the more experience points you will get. You guys will see that popping up there to the right of our character every time we defeat an enemy. And so that's going to be progressing our weapon skill and opening up new points to spend in the talent trees.
ship's locker. Got the tattered chart. And I think, yeah, we have an armor case to open. I always forget to open these loot boxes. Let's do that. A cloth shirt and a cloth dress. I don't know how much that's going to help us. We can take a look at what it looks like. Okay. But I think we're going to go ahead and equip the armor. 77 armor rating for elemental and physical. There we go. Let's equip these pants. And the plate gauntlets. Now, when you equip heavy armor, it affects your ability to dodge roll. You can see that instead of having a full roll, now we have this jump to the side. That's fine, because we're going to be doing more blocking than we're going to be doing dodge rolling. And yeah, I am looking forward to going with the heaviest armor we can equip. In dungeons and later levels, I am planning to tank on this character. And the sword and shield is kind of just a uh, fantasy aesthetic that I've always loved. Alright, we're going to grab our last Swordmaster ability, Leaping Strike. There we go. And that kind of thrust us within range of an enemy. We leap forward several yards there and do a little bit of damage. I think this is going to be up on the deck of the boat. A couple of things up here. All right, that's the ship's flag from the front, and then we need the one from the back. But we, let's go down here and grab this chest. Don't see anything else down here. We got our second weapon slots and survivalist quest camp tier upgrade. Unlocks the starting survivalist quest, which gives you the ability to build, build tier one camps. When you build a camp, that basically becomes your bind point, And if you get killed, that's where you will respawn. You're going to want to be doing that often. Otherwise, you will usually respawn in a town or settlement very far away from where you were questing at. Looks like this plate is a little bit better than what we had on, so we will go ahead and switch that equipment out.
Ah, well done. These records serve as both an archive and a memorial of sorts. It's one way the people of Windsworth can still keep a connection to the old world. Unfortunately, the lost are the least of a problem. That storm was the worst I've ever seen. I fear some remnant of corruption remains in this area. Where does the corruption come from? A mystery for the ages, to be sure. Some claim to have the answer, but I remain skeptical. Does corruption arise from the darkness within one's soul, or does it have a will and purpose of its own? We must try. If some poor wretch nearby has fallen to corruption, it will spread rapidly. The corruption would likely be at the settlement walls within a matter of days. We cannot permit that. Alright, then we will hunt down the corruption. I hoped you might volunteer. Though I have some misgivings about sending a new arrival. I suspect the corruption may be lingering in a nearby sea cave. Check there, but be cautious. I like how they introduce us slowly to the aspects of the world and the lore. Like first we're fighting the drowned, the lost, and then we're checking out the corruption and kind of getting initiated to what these things are and what they do to the world around us. Uh, we could equip uh, another weapon for now. We don't have the weapon that I want, which is the hatchet. Uh, but we could go with something like that. We have some flint arrows that we would then need to put over here. We could give it a try. It's an, I'm not going to focus on the bow, but trying it out might not hurt. So yeah, you have to right click to bring it up to your shoulder and then left click to fire it. Otherwise you do this. Which is the weirdest way to shoot a bow that I've ever seen. Did we have- oh yeah, we did have some attribute points here. Let's dump those into strength for now. Don't know if we're going to get a chance to shoot this bow in here. It's going to be close quarters. That guy got a little bit bugged out. It's fine though. Let's finish looking around out here in this main area though. Soaked sword, that is going to be a little bit better than what we have. We will equip that. Oh, looks like this thing reformed. Okay, didn't expect that. Good to know that it does that. Uh, I think we're going to want to fight this guy. 
Corrupted Chaplain. Okay, he's respawned yet again. Maybe we'll get the credit this time. There we go. Now we can open the weapon chest. Uh, that might not be the way to get up there. Here, we'll cut down this tree so you guys can see how this works if you haven't yet. As you can see, it does take a little while, and I think this changes depending on the quality of the tool that you have equipped. So assuming that as you equip better tools, this might get faster, and you'd be able to chop down larger trees. But yeah, it actually chops it down out of the world, which is very cool for an MMO that you can actually affect the world with your crafting. I'm pretty sure it obviously grows back uh, at some rate. I don't know what that rate is. Well now, someone has proven themselves quite capable this day. To face down corruption and survive without falling to corruption oneself is quite a feat. Purging the corruption in the sea cave has undoubtedly dealt with the immediate threat. But the fact it spread to shore at all is still a serious cause for concern. Is there anything else we can do? Only to prepare for the day when it returns once again. The great storm preceding your arrival was a sign that conditions will soon get worse. The Windsward settlement must be warned. I could take that warning. Yes, and take a well-deserved rest at the inn as well, I hope. Go west to the settlement and give this message to Overseer Dotty. He knows to expect it. Oh, and thank you. I'm going to put another point into Constitution and another point into Strength. Alright, and that is our destination. Can we really recall to the inn? No way. I don't, I don't want to do that. I think I just want to walk it the first time. I'm actually surprised that we could walk ourselves to the uh, send ourselves to the inn like that without having been bound there first I am going to investigate this seeming side quest on the map though And guys, being a first episode, this episode might be a little bit longer than others. I am going to try to keep things to about a half an hour just to make things digestible. So I hope that works for everybody. Yeah, whenever you see these yellow markers out on the map, that is a quest that you can go pick up. Did you see my cart? The wilds of Eternum have never been safe, but the roads? Never seen anything like this before today. Vicious boars came out of nowhere and ate my truffles. Why would they do that? How should I know? Do I look like some kind of boar mind reader? Not me. I'm just a simple traveling herbalist. Tell you this much, however, the beasts have ruined me for the season. 
You'd help an old hapless how? Why yes, you're a saint. Take my sickle, hunt up some truffles, and bring them to the settlement. Okay. I've never hunted truffles before, but apparently they glow bright blue. Delicious truffle. It looks like an alien egg. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. Supposedly, it's delicious. I definitely think upgrading our basic tools uh, is going to be one of my top priorities, just so we can skin a little bit faster, chop trees a little bit faster, stuff like that. Oops, I think I clicked the herbs there and not the truffle. But it's fine because in New World, players can share the loot drops out in the world. We don't have to fight over drops, I appreciate that. Especially on a day one when everyone's relatively close together, fighting over drops can be a big pain. This is some kind of elite, so we'll give we'll give a hand here. I am glad he didn't hit us with that charge. Looks like we did pull an ad though. Doesn't look like we're both going to be able to skin it though. That's a little sad, but it is what it is. He pulled it first, so... All right, let's keep moving here and get ourselves into town. Here's my new friend right here. All the truffles I lost and then some. I hope it wasn't too hard. Keep that sickle for your troubles and if you make a habit of harvesting herbs and such, we'll cross paths again. So we, we didn't need to make our own sickle. We would have got one from this quest. Not a big deal. We got a standing, territory standing bonus we can choose here. I will do this for now. We haven't done any crafting yet, but... And I'm pretty sure they're going to have us run around and visit all the different crafting stations, so we will we'll wait on doing that until we're prompted to. Greetings and well met, traveler. You look to be healthy and fresh. We're glad to have you. Have yourself a pint of mead at the tavern. Have two. <laughs> Winswood is a bountiful territory, and you are welcome here. Uh, we have a message from Watcher Faid. Oh, bother. I knew this was coming to cast a pall over the day. Very well, let's see it. Yes, yes, the corruption's getting worse. <laughs> We're all doomed, etc., etc. 
It's never good news, is it? Probably not. We haven't been here long, but no, it's probably not. The Chatted Mountains started spewing corruption again, too. It's gonna be a long day. You should have listened to that old fool years ago. Oh well, bygone. Uh, what old fool is that? Some old hermit came through here decades ago, raving about corruption. Guess he knew something. Heard he went toward Monarch's Bluffs. Keep an eye out for him if you're ever off that way. All right, so what's the immediate concerns around here? Yes, the Shattered Mountain. Luckily, it's across the island, but it clearly means corruption is spreading. Watch your Fayed's report only reinforces that. I trust you are the one he mentions. That's here. us. Oh, you're quite a hero by Tahir's account. Oh, so let the corruption come, I say. We'll eat it for lunch. Make yourself at home in Winswood, my new friend. Take this message to Magistrate Korapati, and then knock one back in the tavern. You've earned it. This guy just doesn't seem to take the plight here seriously enough. But maybe that will change over time. Pull up the well. Yes, please. Okay, we got 18 water. Hello there, and welcome to Windsward. We're always pleased to welcome a guest, or even a new resident. I see that message in your hand. Is that the report from Watcher Fayette? It is. I'm just grateful to know Takir is all right. I hope he returns soon. So, Overseer Dottie has seen this report then? I imagine he'll be oiling his armor, ready to charge into battle right away. Not exactly. If it's true that corruption is spreading rapidly now, then we must prepare. But there's no need to rush. We will take this one step at a time. Plenty, I'm sure. But for the moment, you should take care of yourself. You must be exhausted. Go and check in at the inn. Explore the town. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Welcome to the Southern Breeze. May a gentle wind always guide you home. Do you wish to check in? We'd be happy to have you. This will allow you to recall and respawn at the settlement from anywhere in the world. There we go. And then we had a couple of things to spend here. Let's do Constitution and Strength. Okay guys, I am going to take a little bit of a break here for today. Uh, when we come back, we will continue looking around town, we'll hit up some of the crafting stations, and then hopefully get ourselves back out into the action really soon. I hope you guys are having a good time with this one. Let me know what you think, and if you're having your own playthroughs, I'd love to hear how those playthroughs are going as well. Thank you so much for being here with me today and spending your time here with me in a turnum. I really do appreciate the support. It means the world to me, so take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back on a turnum really soon. Bye now.